Shinsen Gumi. Swearing their loyalty to the Emperor and Shogun, these young samurai calmly faced any threats to topple the Shogunate regime. With their unwavering conviction, they faced the ups and downs of this era head on, only to fall as Japan's last samurai. This group had its origins in Hino City, now part of Tokyo. The Shinsengumi were known by their zigzag patterned haori overcoats. The Western style clothing worn by Shinsengumi Vice Commander Hijikata Toshizo was also very distinctive. Why not try on these costumes and take commemorative photos in them? It will surely make a wonderful memory. These costumes can be worn at Shinsengumi Furusato Historical Museum. Here, many important items related to Shinsengumi are on display. The story of the Shinsengumi still captivates Japan's people. This is their tale. In the middle of the 19th century, when the Edo era was coming to an end, American Commodore Perry arrived with a fleet of ships to pressure Japan to dissolve the policy of national isolation enforced throughout the Tokugawa shogunate. Public opinion was divided into those who wanted to open Japan to trade and others who wanted to keep it closed off. A movement to end the shogunate began. At this time of political upheaval, the Shinsengumi was born. At the time, the Japanese government was effectively controlled by the shogun, and some samurai were recruited as bodyguards to escort him from Edo to Kyoto. These bodyguards were ronin samurai that didn't belong to any specific feudal domain. The force was called the Roshigumi. Among the Roshigumi were members who would later make up the core of the Shinsengumi, such as Kondo Isami, Hijikata Toshizo, Okita Soji, and Inoue Genzaburo. Kendo Isami, Hichikata Toshizo, and Okita Soji got to know each other while practicing their swordmanship at a training dojo at the Hino Shuku Honjin. The dojo these men met at was opened by Sato Hikogoro, the village chief. These men practiced a style of martial arts called Tenen Rishin Ryu. This style of Japanese swordmanship was very practical and focused on techniques to defeat foes in real battles. At Shinsengumi Furusato Historical Museum, you can also experience the Tennenri Shinryu swordmanship. It is said that the main members of the Shinsengumi prepared for actual fighting by practicing with wooden swords that were the same weight as real ones. After arriving in Kyoto, the Roshigumi members had a difference in opinions over what to do next. Twenty or so men, including Kondo Isami and Hijikata Toshizo, joined Matsudaira Katamori, the feudal lord of the Aizu domain in Kyoto. There they acted as guardians of public safety. At that time, Kondo Isami sent this letter to his students in his hometown. It expresses the determination of these men to protect the shogun and emperor in Kyoto, even if it cost their lives. The names of Hijikata Toshizo and Okita Soji are also recorded here. This valuable historical document, written by Kondo Isami himself, shows the course of events leading to the birth of the Shinsengumi. Staying in Kyoto, Kondo Isami's group continued cracking down on those who tried to topple the shogunate. Their achievements were eventually recognized by the Aizu domain, which granted them the squadron name of Shinsengumi. As the reputation for their service grew, more people wanted to join this regiment, which numbered 300 members at its peak. Here is a blueprint of the premises of Shinsengumi's post. This blueprint shows the residence where soldiers of this regiment slept. From the floor plan, we can imagine the measures that were taken to strengthen the defense of this post. 
such as changing the fences surrounding the residence to mud walls and setting up fences inside the residence itself. As it continued to grow in number and strength, the Shinsengumi gained instant fame in the Ikedaya incident. After getting wind of a plot by an anti-shogunate faction to set Kyoto on fire, the Shinsengumi led a group of men to invade Ikedaya, an inn which the faction had infiltrated. Numerous members of the anti-shogunate faction who planned the coup lost their lives as the Shinsengumi suppressed them. Following the events of that night, the Shinsengumi's name became known throughout Kyoto. Members of the Shinsengumi at the time were said to have worn this military insignia. Dyed with the word makoto, or sincerity, it was designed in a zigzag pattern resembling a mountain range. This word symbolized the heart of the Shinsengumi, the last samurai who fought with courage to protect the shogun. With their formidable swordmanship, the Shinsengumi continued to take down anti-shogunate forces, and their name reverberated throughout the country. However, times were rapidly changing. The shogunate judged it impossible to reverse the tide of history and decided to relinquish its power to the imperial court. This brought the regime of the samurai, which had lasted roughly 800 years, to an end, giving birth to a new government with the emperor as its leader. In January of 1868, the armed forces of the former shogunate and the new imperial government clashed at Toba and Fushimi, two locations in Kyoto. Shinsengumi joined the shogunate army in fighting back, but they were unable to compete with the superior strength of the new government forces, and they suffered a crushing defeat. This woodblock print told of the Battle of Toba Fushimi. This type of print was published when a major incident occurred and was the equivalent of a newspaper. The Battle of Toba Fushimi is the only incident in which the Shinsengumi appeared in printed matter. Here is a military detonator rifle and an artillery shell of 2.4 kilograms. The shogunate purchased modern weaponry as it started to westernize its armaments. Taking such weapons into their hands, Shinsengumi members actively practiced firing guns and cannons. The former shogunate's forces and Shinsengumi samurai continued to suffer defeat after defeat at the hands of the new government's army. In the end, Kondo Isami was captured by the new government's forces and executed. At around the same time, prajital swordsman Okita Soji's chronic illness worsened and claimed his life. After the death of Kondo Isami, Hijikata Toshizo was left as one of the few remaining commanders of the former shogunate's forces. While fighting the new government's forces pursuing them, Hijikata headed to the northeast of the Japanese archipelago. He kept fighting the enemy forces as they closed in on him from all directions. This famous photograph is said to have been taken around the time Hijikata came to Hakodate. Gallantly dressed in a Western military uniform, Hijikata's growth into a modern commander can be seen in his looks. The former shogunate's army continued to fight in Hakodate. In the end, as though he'd seen his death coming, Hijikata Toshizo entrusted his subordinate, Ichimura Tetsunotsuke, with a photograph of himself to take back to his hometown of Hino as a memory. Without surrendering, Hijikata kept on fighting to the end. However, a single bullet, fired by the army of the new government, ended his life. The Shinsengumi, Japan's last true samurai thus met their bitter end.
The Hino Shuku Honjin is located in Hino City, Tokyo. This was the residence of Hino Shuku's village chief, Sato Hikogoro. It also served as an inn for people of high status, such as daimyo, Japanese feudal lords. In addition, this is where Sato Hikogoro opened a dojo for practicing swordmanship. Hino City was, and still is, a place teeming with nature. Outfitted with waterways connected to the rice paddies, rice could be harvested in abundance, thus raising farmers and merchants with enough time and money to spend on things like honing their swordmanship after work. Many young people came to the dojo opened by Sato Hikogoro to learn the Tenna Rishinryu style of sword fighting. Among these were Kondo Isami, who would later become the headmaster of Tenen Rishinryu. He was joined by the future members of Shinsengumi. This training in swordmanship is what brought the men together. Hino Shuku Honjin is the place that gave birth to the Shinsengumi. Here, things that the Shinsengumi's members saw and touched remain in their original state. Now, we would like to introduce some of those places and things. Step up from the base level, and a grand living room of 18 tatami mats spreads out in front of you. It is said that this is where Sato Hikogoro, the village chief, did his work. In one corner of the room, you can see a very thick pillar cut from a Japanese zelkova tree. This striking pillar was the central pillar of this building. After stepping up onto the main level, the second room you'll see is the entrance. There is an anecdote that Hichigata Toshizo napped here due to the good ventilation in this room. On the right side of this room is a large wooden plank called a shikidai. It was used as an entrance to welcome visiting daimyo, or feudal lords. There is a story that Okita Soji did an impression of a sumo wrestler here to try to show that he was still fit despite his chronic illness. These decorative nail covers were used to cover nails that had been driven into the wood. They can be seen here and there throughout the rooms. The chrysanthemum crest represents nobility. The bat is said to invite good fortune inside. The pair of rabbits carry the hope for a household blessed with children and prosperity. Thus, each nail cover carries its own meaning. Here is the antechamber. This room is where Ichimura Tetsunosuke, the subordinate who brought back the belongings of the deceased Hijikata Toshizo from far away Hokkaido, is said to have spent two years in hiding. Next to the antechamber is a room facing a Japanese garden. Look up, and you can see Ranma carved with seasonal flowers and birds. By the artisanal craftsmanship of this excellent fretwork, the four seasons are expressed. On one side of the decorative alcove, there is a wooden frame decoration. When sunlight filters through it, a hexagonal pattern will appear on the opposite side of it. The playful heart of the craftsman gave birth to the modest beauty of this pattern. A fish is carved into the bottom of this pillar. Expressing success in life, this carp climbing a waterfall is said to carry good luck. On the sliding paper doors, there is classical Chinese poetry written by an established calligrapher of the time. It is said to have been written as a memorial of the Shinsengumi's achievements. Here is where the family of Sato Hikogoro, the village chief, lived in the Hinoshuku Honjin. These quarters are divided into a living room, a Buddhist altar room, and a tea room. There is also an anecdote that the ceiling of this room was made by a Shinsengumi member named Oishi Kuwarajiro when he was still a carpenter. 
This room holds the Buddhist altar. Called Butsuma in Japanese, this room is equipped with an altar where the family ancestors are enshrined. Here is a living space called Chanoma, or tea room. Everyday items used at the time are displayed. Hinoshuku Honjin is the place where the samurai, who would be at the center of the Shinsengumi, strengthen their ties while training their swordsmanship. The Shinsengumi's ambition and sincerity live on in the hometown that raised them, Hino. Here you can retrace their footsteps and see historical heritage you can't find anywhere else. Once called Japan's most powerful public safety force, the Shinsengumi was scattered to the winds as a new era dawned in Japan. The way the Shinsengumi lived through a period of upheaval in Japan's history is so deeply etched into the memory of Japanese people that it is still discussed today. Hino City is where evidence of their existence remains even now. Please come and visit and let this heroic tale take you on a nostalgic trip back in time.